undrivable. Yun you know what it means. Undrivable. Walang katulad, walang kapas. Nothing we compare. No? This is our God, no? This is our God. And uh, well, the story is about sacrifice. It's about triumph and sacrifice. If you will, you will read what I posted, no? The, the story revolves around sacrifices. Really. And um, actually, there is no greater sacrifice than what our God has did for us, has done for us. Sino pong naniniwala to? Amen. So, when you realize, when you look at these heroes that has been portrayed on screen, and you look at what Jesus did, you will be amazed. And you will be like in awe of what God has done for us. It's unrivaled. It is unrivaled. Kaya po, let, uh, let me invite you to stand and let us wait. His word, ang sabi po niya in Isaiah chapter 40 verse 25. This is just a short verse. Siya mismo po ang nagsala. Sabi po niya, To whom will you compare me? Kanino mo ako ikukumpara? Kanino? Or who is my equal? Sino ang katulad ko? Says the point. Siya po mismo ang nagtatanong ko sa atin. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. We have asked a question in our hearts before. And it's a, it's bugging us, Lord, to a certain degree. Sometimes question that, Lord, uh, are you real? Are you more than real? Naan chan ka ba, Lord? And today, oh God, you're going to be being to us. Who oh, you are really. Lord, let these people, let my brethren, Lord, be receptive Lord, to this word that they're going to hear, Lord, that you would minister and you would answer directly, personally, Lord, their questions. And they will understand and accept who you really are. Thank you, Father God, for talk to us, minister to each and everyone, and bless each and everyone that are here today, Lord. We thank you, glorify you, and we magnify your name. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. See, let us all be seated in the presence of God. Last, uh, about two weeks ago, before our Thanksgiving, Pwede po bang kalabatin mo muna yung katabi mo? Sabihin mo... Huwag mo akong istorbohin! Makikinig ako! Where's Joy? Okay. Our God is unrivaled. Anyway, so the title of our message, the message of the Lord tonight, today is Unrival. Walang patula, walang kapat. Sino pong naniniwala doon? Na ang Diyos natin ay walang katula. Well, two weeks ago, I preached about the loving God. Our loving God. And I hope na natatandaan niyo kayo. 
pa mainit na yun eh. Oh, mainit ang suot ko. Ano ka pang way dyan na naman ako, eh, sir, pa po, sir, pero eh, eh, uh, paimong po muna ha, at uh, ano, unrivaled. Walang pa po muna ako. not a superhero. Hindi po siya. That is not just a superhero. Sometimes, because of the way God has been portrayed no, in movies and how we talk about God, ang nangyayari, parang we, we look at Him as similar to Superman. No? Naging ganun na eh. It becomes, uh, parang ang tingin lang natin, may witness din ng Lord. Parang may kryptonite. No? When we look at Him, look at the word God, sometimes, when we post something, God bless, when we put small G. Di ba? O kaya, sometimes what we do, we just put it GBU. Di ba? Talagang parang pinapaliit na lang natin ang Diyos natin eh. Because of the way things God has been portrayed. Di po ba? Nakakalimutan natin kung sino talaga ang Diyos natin that He created heaven and earth, Siya ang po ang may lalang ng langit at lupa. He created us. No? Na nilalang niya ang lahat from nothing. Hindi katulad ni Thanos na kailangan pang kung <laughs> stones. Tapos pipitik pang ganon. <laughs> Di ba? Ganun po ang ano. Pero tayo po, we, we, we seem to forget that God is unrivaled in Godness. Wala po siyang katulad sa pagiging Diyos niya. Wala. Yung mga iba dyan, mayroong mga Diyos sila. It's nothing compared to our God. Sometimes we say, we, we, ano, um, No, ginagaya natin yung expression nila. What is the usual expression? Sa Arab. Yung nagbilin. Di ba? Inshallah. We seem to forget that they are mentioning their God, not our God. And ang ginagawa natin, ginagaya natin. Hindi po pareho ang Diyos natin sa Diyos nila, it's not the same. Hindi po. If you are a Christian, you should remember this. We are worshiping a God who was a son who died for us. Ang Diyos po nila walang anak eh. So how can it be the same? It's not the same. Our God is unrivaled in Godness. Hindi po the same God yun. Mayroon pa isa, usually, ha? Ano yun? Inshallah, tapos mayroon pa ano naman? Inshallah. 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 Pero, in, in, in Malaysia, they pass a law. In Malaysia, this is true, you can check this. In Malaysia, they pass a law saying na you cannot inter interchangeably use God and Allah. It's not because they know it's not the same. If they know that it's not the same, how? Why are you using this, the, their terms or their God? Diba? You have to understand this, mga kapatid. Because, mga brothers and sisters, ang sabi po, all things were created through Him and without Him was not anything made that was made. 
wala pong nagawa kahit ano kung wala ang Diyos, wala si Jesus. Anything, all things, lahat. Anything that occupies space and has weight, ano yun? Fire. Wow. <laughs> Present. Present nung tinuro ang mother. Three state of mother? Oh, yun, yun ba? Yun, biglang ano na, medyo nag-iisip na. <laughs> kaya, kaya nga sabi ni Lord, eh, pero in the beginning, time, God created ano, heaven and earth. Dito nyo, nakita nyo yung heaven, yung space, kinreate ni Lord lahat yan. Sa pamula sa umpisa pa lamang. All things visible and invisible were made for Him. Kahit si Thanos na naandito lamang, create ni Lord. Lahat yan. Invisible, invisible. So there are invisible things. There are spiritual things which God created as well. All things were created through Him and for Him, Colossians 1.16. Tandaan po natin yan. Lahat ay ginawa ng ating Diyos, hindi ng kanilang Diyos. You have to remember that. Nakakalimutan natin, ang Diyos natin is the Creator. Diyos natin po yun. Because it's not the same God as they, as what they have. It's not the same. Hindi po katulad ng Dios na mga Hindu, na mga Buddhist. No, hindi po pareho yun. Amen po ba? And rival po ang Dios natin. Wala po katulad. At hindi po kailangan ng Lord. And ang Diyos po natin is with a big G. Tandaan po natin yan, it's with a big G. It's not with a small G. OMG. Oh, OMG, di ba? And when you watch an American movie, usually when you watch, uh, they use it as a curse. For cursing someone. Yeah. Have, have you noticed? You try that with the Lama. Gaano ka yung uh, patient ang Diyos natin? Gaano kabuti ang Diyos natin? Gaano? Ang tribal! Mga kapatid, wala po siyang katulad sa kanyang kabaitan, kabutihan. Imagine that. He is God and we sometimes relegate Him a uh, what? A small g similar to the gods of this world. Hindi po ba? How good! How great is our God! No? And we have to, we should not forget, mga kapatid, for the foolishness of God is wiser than human wisdom. Alam niyo po yun? Yung matatawag na natin ng pakahangalan sa Diyos is mas matalino pa sa anumang katalinuhan ng tao. Natin na niyo po ba yun? Pag sama-samahin na ang talino ng tao, it is wise, ang wiser pa rin ang Diyos. God is still wiser. And pagsamasa, and the weakness of God is stronger than human strength. Pagsamasamain mo na ang human strength, weakness pa lang ng tao yun, ng Diyos yun. Imagine that. It is said in 1 Corinthians chapter 1, verse 25. Ganun po ang Diyos natin. Nakakalimutan po natin eh. Kasi when we face something in our life, parang we feel defeated na walang magagawa ang Diyos natin. Pero mga kapatid, 
God is stronger than anything in this world. No? Tandaan po natin, he co His combat sins need no stand men. Nakita niyo po yun? Ginawa ni Jesus. Nakita niyo? Mayroon bang ano yun? Stand men na ako muna. Uh, ano pa? Kadobol, di ba? Wala! Nakita niyo mga kadobol nila, no? Mayroon, pinapakita nga, ikot sige yung kadobol eh. Ang Lord natin, He Himself did it for us. No? His wisdom needs no script writers. Walang nagsasabi, oh, ganito ang gagawin mo, ha? Diyos. Ito yung ano mo, plano mo dapat. Ito ang gawin mo para sa kanila. Ang sabi ni Lord, Jeremiah 29, for I know, alam niya, hindi mo, ka, hindi kailangan diktahan ng sino pa man. Di ba? Nakakalimutan natin yun eh. Walang script writer si Lord. Siya mismo ang gumawa ng plano sa buhay mo. At pag ang Diyos ang nagplano, itatay natin yun eh. Mabuti ang plano niya sa bawat isa. Walang hinangad na masama ang Diyos sa buhay po natin. Never! Di ba? Walang hinangad na, ma na masama ang Diyos. Ang gusto niya, mabuti palagi para sa atin. Kabutihan mo ang lagi niyang inaalala. No? His glory needs no special effects. When you feel His presence, hindi mo kailangan ng, ano, ng green, ano, background, to feel His presence, His glory. Hindi mo kailangan ng matitinding, ano, ng graphics. Hindi mo kailangan ng 3D. Exactly. Para maramdaman mo ang presensya, ang glory niya. Walang special effects can equal His glory. Amen po ba? Palagpag po sa Diyos. Now, to whom, ang sabi kaya nga, sabi niya, to whom will you compare me? Or who is my equal, says the Holy One, kanino? Kanino mo ikaw kumbara ang Diyos? Sino ang katulad niya? Wala. There's nothing Com can compare to what God is to us. Who God is. Who He really is. Nakakalimutan po natin yan. Kasi, we become, ano yun, nagiging attached tayo to what we see, what has been advertised. Yeah? In Facebook, in YouTube, in movies, televisions, newspapers, the media is actually, hindi natin alam, brainwashing us. Di ba? Alam nyo to, di ba? May mga fake news nga eh. Di ba? Sila Bikoy. Naging politika yan. Our God is unrivaled in sacrifice. His sacrifice is unrivaled, mga kapatid. The agony that Jesus has suffered on the cross cannot be reproduced. Yung, yung The Passion of Christ, you, you will see in the movie, Passion of Christ. What, pag napanood niyo po yan, kulang pa po yun. Kulang pa yun. Kulang pa. It's what God has, has done for us through the cross cannot be reproduced hindi ko kayang gawin o uh, lagyan ba ng o, oh, ready, action. Hindi pwede yun. 
No, you've seen other movies like uh, art, uh, yung art, uh, yung pa yan, no? Russell Pro, Russell Pro ba yan? It doesn't even come close to what God has done. Tsaka yung, yung sa Egypt din, Pumoy says, yung yun natin yung ano, it doesn't come close. Hindi mo po pwedeng i-reproduce ang ginawa ng Diyos. Ang milagro na ginawa ng Diyos. Even on screen, even with the, with all the equipment that they have, the technology that we have today, hindi po kayang i-reproduce ang ginawa ng Diyos. Amen po ba? Amen. How can you reproduce, no? Yung ginawa kay Kristo. How, kung nakita niyo po yung, ano, yung itsura niya, sabi po doon sa Isaiah 52.14, Just as there were many who were upon at him, his appearance was so this figure beyond that of any human being and his form marked beyond human likeness. Beyond! So how can you establish that in your mind? Imagine that. It's beyond your imagination what he has gone through. He has been disfigured. Oh, papano yun? Ibig sabihin, nagkatabi-tabi ni na. Kalasog-lasog na. Di ba? Yet, it was the Lord's will to crush him and cause him to suffer. And this is, I mean, when you watch the movie, no, it was Thanos who did all the bad things. But, you see, who did? Sino po ba ang gumawa kay Jesus? Don't forget, ah, it was all the Romans. You know, it was the Lord's will. Kalooban po ng Diyos na ganun. And that's the, nakikita niyo po yung ano? Because You know why? You know why? Because of us. Dahil sa atin. No? Tandaan po natin, there was He did not gloriously die on the battlefield. Ano yung bang parang uh, naka, nakipaglaban? Hindi po eh. Diba? Jesus died like a lamb. Hindi po ba? Natandaan nyo? Hindi yung uh, nakipaglaban, nakipag uh, spadahan, at yun. Ano? Diba? Ganun ang usual na ano eh. Nakasakay sa kabayo. Meron din doon eh. Nakasakay sa kabayo. Lumilipad na ganun. No? Ganun ang nangyayari eh. Tapos uh, yung masok sa building, nagliliyab. Tapos uh, hindi po ganun eh. Hindi ganun namatay si Kristo. How did he die? He died as a criminal. Parang siya criminal. They stripped him naked and paraded him through the city to the dump him of Golgotha. He died as a criminal because of us. Krimin, naging criminal siya para sa atin. Dahil sa atin. Remember? Di ba? Hindi, wala siyang ano eh, hindi nakabaro na may costume pa na ano, di ba? Hindi eh. He was stripped naked. Sinong superhero ang makakaano nun? Even Superman has a brief outside. <laughs> Diba? 
Jesus naked. You know why he was stripped naked? You know why? Because when he paid for our sins, when he paid for our sins, kasama po dong binayaran niya shame and guilt. Pati yung kahihiyan, binayaran niya rin yun. Kasama po yun. When he said it is finished, it is finished. Lahat po ni paid yun. Kasama doon yung embarrassment mo. Kahihiyan. Guilt mo. Kasama yun. That's why he was stripped naked. He was, his was a shameful curse that between two things. Kasama niya, magnanakaw. Diba? Wala siyang kasama ibang, I mean, heroes. They, you, they come with, with sidekicks. Diba? You see, in Avengers, there were a lot of heroes there. They were helping each other. In the case of our Lord Jesus Christ, He was in the middle of two teams. Imagine that. Wala siyang kasama. Siya lang mag-isa. He did it on His own. All alone. Nakakalimutan po natin eh. That's why I'm telling you, His sacrifice is unrivaled. Walang kapantay. Walang kaparis. No onlooker applauded his heroics. No team put, put beside him. Walang sabi, wow, ang galing. Palakpakan. Wala eh. Iniwan siya ng lahat. Pati mga apostol. They wouldn't even dare to come close. Na ma-identify sila na, ah, kasama ka, di ba? Hindi eh. Iniwan siya. You know, in the movies, when a comrade is shot or, ano, has fallen, everybody is, ano, go there and then they are given a moment of, to express their, ano, di ba? Di ba? Usually, oh, huwag mo kami iwan. May mga ganung moment pa eh. Di ba? Ipagpapatuloy namin ang laban. Mga ganun eh. <laughs> Dahil sa iyong pagpapakasakit, itutuloy namin ang laban. Hindi eh. In the case of Jesus, no one was there. No one. He hung alone, bearing the Father's righteous wrath, wrath against sin. Shalom mag-isa. This is what we are forgetting. His love is unrivaled. Walang makakapantay na kanyang pagmamahal. Sabihin mo sa katabi mo. Wala makakapatay ng kanyang pagmahal. Wala. Wala. Sobra ang grace, ang biyaya ng Diyos. Sobra. You know, you can only understand or get as a, a parang a glimpse of His goodness of His grace if you realize kung nari-realize po natin kung nasaan ba tayo before? Sino ba tayo noon? Paano tayo hinangon ng Diyos? Gaano ang kasalanan natin? No? In, in the case of, you know, the movie, we don't really know the people that uh, the Avengers were protecting. When we assume that they are all good people. We assume uh, that they deserve to be saved. 
that because they are good people. Ganun yung assumption natin. No? We inject goodness to, to the people na, na that Avengers were trying to save. Para kailangan yung pagtanggol yun. No? Happy. There are a lot of faceless multitudes that yung di ba every time na nao na save don sa ano habang na papa na hulo na salo di ba and we think that there this person is a good person that's why he he was saved by Thor or somebody who is hero you know di ba ganon ang ano natin oy kasi babae ang tumpatat niya hagis yun maapu yung building di ba o sa same okay, but you know kung sabi po the Lord saw how great the wickedness of human race had become on the earth in that every inclination of the thoughts of the human heart was only evil all the time Genesis chapter 6 verse 5 o yung pagyating all have seen the portion of the glory of God. Na, ang pagmamahal ng Diyos, while we were still weak, at the right time, Christ died for the ungodly. For one he will scarcely die for a righteous person, though perhaps for a good person, one would death even to die. But God shows His love for us in that while we were still sinners, Christ died for us. Diba? Kahit masama tayo, ungodly, unrighteous tayo, God died for us. He died for us. He did not say, Aray, kagaroba. Mga batang din nyo, alam yun. Kagaro. Garo. Hindi yung alam. Kainaman. Salbahe. Hindi eh. Hindi. Nakita nyo po, unrivaled ang kanyang pagmamahal. Because while we were still sinners, He died for us. He died for you and me. No? I lay down my life that I may take up. Uh, no one, wala pong nagsabi sa kanya na ikaw. Ikaw gay, ano? Bigyan mong buhay mo? Hindi. He gave it on his own. On his own. Hindi dahil mabuti ka, Hindi dahil may nagawa kang maganda. Hindi eh. He gave it on His own. No? I have authority to lay it down and I have authority to take it up again. Ganun po ang Diyos natin. Walang <coughs> pag tinignan yung mga movies, no? Hindi po yung parang ah, ayaw ko mamatay. Hindi. He died willingly. Para sa iyo. He died willingly for us. That's how God loves us. No one got the upper hand against His will. Out maneuvered. Hindi siya dinaya. Ay, hindi ganyan. Ano? Kunwari lang naman na mamamatay ka. Kunwari lang. Pero mabubuhay ka niya. Kunwari lang, titigil ang pintig ng puso mo. Hindi po ganun. Namatay talaga siya. He really died. Wala mo na. Ano, mamatay ka hindi? Wala mo na ganun. There's no such thing. Wala mo na ganun. No? Man didn't invade heaven and bring him down. Hindi yung ha. 
Ah, kalampagin natin ang lakalakitan ng upang kan hindi po ganoon na tayo sumuko at no at ng buksan ng ano ang nataw dito yung door at at yung dinamit nila do yung time capsule time machine washing machine gumawa tayo ng time machine pero na spoiler pa daw Gumawa tayo ng time machine tatayo doon wala pong ganoon mga kapatid Nakakalimutan natin yun. He gave his life as a ransom for many. Binigay niya. Next. Marahaba pa pala. Unrivaled in achievement. Therefore, just as sin entered the world through one man and death through sin, in this way, death came to all people because all have sinned. Now, the most wonderful thing about Jesus is that by his death, Through his death, he defeated death itself. Pero, ito niyo yun. Through his death, because of his death, he defeated death. Ang ginabi niya ay ang kamatayan. He defeated death by his death. So, huwag dinignan niyo po yung ano, yung 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 pelikula no let me just go ano faster para ano ayoko ko na yun his death defeated itself death itself his blood is spared us from the just reward of our own deeds kasalanan natin siya ang nagbayad Tayo ang may gawa. Siya ang may sala. Siya ang nagbayad. Di ba? Yun ang nangyari. He makes beloved children from former foes. Tayo kaaway ginawan. Anak. Yan ang yun. Usually, superheroes saves people from troubles. Diba? Superheroes saves people from troubles. But in the case of Jesus, save us from sin and death. And give us eternal life. Hello? Saan ka pa? Sa sinihan na mag-i-enjoy ka ng what? Three hours? Eh dito, 45 minutes, 1 hour, sige. Walang bayad. And you can enjoy the presence of God. Saan ka? Di ba? Na hindi natin nare-realize what privilege we have in God, with God. What He has done, hindi natin nare-realize po yan. No, no, Medyo mahaba pa po eh. He brings us back into what we as humans were made for. Fellowship with God Himself. He, not the absence of pain or streets paint of gold, became our great treasure forever. Hindi yung mga kayamanan kung ano-anong kayamanan. Jesus is our great treasure na forever siya. No? And He deserve all the glory. Worthy is the Lamb. Worthy is the Lamb who was slain. And this is my hero. My superhero. And should be your superhero as well. Jesus, you know, when I was looking at it, Jehovah saved us. And that's the meaning actually of the word Jesus Christ, Savior of His people. 
Jesus means, his name means, Savior of his people. Amen po ba? Amen. Para pa po sa Diyos. He is real. Hindi po siya imaginary. Hindi produkto lang ng imagination. No? Ang sabi, the Lord became blessed and made His dwelling, the Word, which Jesus Christ, became blessed and made His dwelling among us. We, say, we have seen His glory, the glory of the one and only Son, who came from the Father, full of grace and truth. John 1.14 Totoo siyang namuhay sa atin. Hindi mo yan. Natatanda niyo po yung time? Time. No? Before Christ. B.C. A.D. Di ba? Because He was here. Before Christ. Kaya nga po noon, before Christ, There is B.C. After that, A.D. Because He was here. That's the mark. When Christ was here. Came here. A.C. Uh, ano? B.C. and A.D. Hindi po ba? Nakalimutan natin? What's the mark? He is sinless. Pag binignan yung mga superheroes, they all have issues. Diba? May issues lahat sila. No, yun yung mayabang. Diba? Matigas ang ulo. Kailangan magalit yung isa. Ano? May ma lahat sila yan, may mga issues sa sarili nila. Diba? Yung mga superheroes. When you, when you watch them, yung mga issues yan. In the case of Jesus, For He made Him who knew no sin to be sin for us. Wala siyang kasalanan. He is sinless that we might become the righteousness of God in Him. Pero, pinasan niya po yung kasalanan natin. He is personal. What does it mean? No, when you look at superheroes, we are just fans. Fans lang po tayo. You can wear these suits, pero, pero pan lang po tayo. Up to that extent only, na tayo po ay, ano, no? yung relationship natin sa uh, mga superheroes na yan, we are just fans. Fans. Hi, fans. <laughs> Ganun lang po ang tingin sa atin. But in the case of Jesus, ang sabi niya, my ship hear my voice and I know them and they follow me. They, I know them. Kilala kayo. Personal. And it is extend na nilagyan niya ng number ang bawat kibla ng iyong buhok. Di ba? Ganon ka-personal ang pagkakakilala niya sa'yo. Ay yung sa mga ano, fans ka lang eh. And still, you admire them. Hello? He's my superhero, Jesus. He saved us from sin and death. This superhero saved us from trouble. What? My God, my hero, for Christ also suffered once for sins, the just for the unjust, that He might bring us to God, being put to death. In the flesh, but made alive by the Spirit. Diba? That's the best thing about Him. He can make us like Him. Tayo, we can, if we watch the movie, we can never be those superheroes. Oh, we cannot. How can you be poor? A Spider-Man, papakagat ka sa ano? Mali nga yun, dapat sa point lumalabas yung hindi yung ano, di ba? Hindi naman dito sa kamay naman. <laughs> Imagine Spider-Man. If you're Spider-Man at dito lumalabas sa point mo yung ano? Sapo, ano? Spider-Man mo. <laughs> di ba? 
Totoong spider, di ba? Di ba? Yung totoong spider. Di ba? Di ba? Spider-Man? Di ba? You know, we can never be them because they are just they are just imaginary, a product of imagination, lang, no? Just to give us a glimpse of the power of God, which is ang sabi niya. So all of us who have had that veil removed can see and reflect the glory of the Lord. And the Lord, who is the Spirit, makes us more and more like Him as we are changed into His glorious image. He is changing us from glory to glory. Diba? Ay, doon sa pelikula, doon sa angel, you can never be part of the Avengers team. Never. Diba? Kailan ka magiging Avenger? Hello? Tapos na po ang pelikula. It's done, it's finished. Kalas. Di ba? But! With Jesus Christ, He is changing us. No, if God has started something in you, He will finish it. Tatapusin niya. And His purpose, He is Ang gusto niya, ang gusto ni Lord, di ba? Makes us more and more like Him as we are changed into His glorious image. Yung po, ang plano ng Lord sa atin. No? You know, fairy tales say that apples were golden only to repress the forgotten moment when we found that they were green. I don't know if you mean this, let me read again. They make rivers run with wine only to make us remember for one wild moment that they run with water. I don't know if you mean this. We should see in those movies, we should reflect na mas matindi pa rin ang Diyos na rin for one glorious moment sa kanila lang yun. One lang glorious moment. Mga kapatid, for eternity, God is showing us His greatness. For eternity, for how many years you have existed and God has shown us His glorious moment, His grace, His blessings, His people every day every second of our life he is bestowing us hope he is giving up us strength diba? every second of our life he is sustaining our life nakalimutan po natin mga kapatid we live in the greatest story, God's epic unfolds all around us. If Marvel characters were glorious enough to actually exist, they would envy us in our story, not we in theirs. Mas matinde ang story ng buhay mo kasama ang Diyos, kasama si Kristo, kaysa anong istorya na ipinalabas sa sinihan. Mas matindi ang story ng buhay mo. Your life, our life is epic. With God, with Christ in us. Di ba? Hindi mapapantayan ng kahit anong istorya ginawa ng Hollywood, Bollywood, whoever ang istorya ng buhay mo. Ang drama ng buhay mo. Sino makakapantay doon sa mga iniiyak-iyakan mo? Sa pinagdaanan mo. Sino? Sino ang ako na gaganap sa buhay mo? 
No, it's the. I think it's the last one. And I'll tell you now the reason why I cried in the beginning. In the beginning of the movie, there was the scene where, like half of the humanity were gone. Now a lot of so umpisa pa lang po yon. Even in the last movie, it was there. Tiba, half billions of people perish. They disappear. And I was thinking, ganon pala yung pagnatro. Wala pa pong tribulation yun. Imagine that. During rapture, it's more than half ang mga wala o matitira dito. During rapture, a lot of people will disappear. May maraming tao po ang mga wala. And come to think of it, while I was watching it, the, the, that scene, I re it really made me cry. Because I was thinking about the rapture. Kanong pala yung pakiramdam nun? Nawala yung mahal mo sa buhay. So umpisa pa lang po yun, random na eh. Nawala yung mahal sa buhay. You cannot do anything about it. Because they're gone. And this is the reality for us, mga kapatid. This is the reality for us. It will come to pass. Mangyayari po. Rapture will come. Parating po ang rapture. Ahayaan po ba natin yung ating mga kapatid? Pakilala, maiwan. Yung mga mahal po natin sa buhay, They will be left behind, looking for us, wondering, where are we? Saan na tayo? It's really hard. Mahina po. When you watch, I was crying really. When I was watching it, that scene, doon po ako naiyak eh. Not at the end. Doon sa umpisa. Doon ako naiyak. I was thinking, paano na? This really, it will really happen eh. It's just a matter of time. Rapture will happen. And what will happen? It's any time. We don't know the time, but it will happen. Paano na? Paano na yung mga mahal natin sa buhay? When you look at the movies, there's no tribulation. <laughs> Ito mo po may iwan after rapture. Seven years of tribulation. They will suffer. Paano na po? That's what I'm thinking. Yung po yung nag-struck sa akin. Ang hirap pala. Ang hirap. So brothers and sisters, Day, let us be reminded, being Christians, let us be reminded of our duty. It's our duty. You are the heroes. You are more than heroes. For your children, for your loved ones, kayo po yun. We cannot be an avenger then you can save somebody you love you can save somebody save somebody Tell somebody about our God you don't have to do no those sins you don't have to 
lumipad. To a burning building or something, just to say, all you have to do is bring them to Christ, to let them know Jesus Christ. You can save somebody. You can be the hero. You can be a hero for somebody's life. We are heroes already and we can be more than heroes. Amen po ba? Amen.